Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a Walmart haul for you today. I found some new things, picked up some staples, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or just to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come over, join our Facebook group. It's free and we would love to have you. That is all down in the description box for you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week from Walmart. I found some really great things. Of course, we already know why I go to Walmart. That's for my real good chicken nuggets. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. So the first thing I saw over in the produce section are these little crunch pack snack trays. So it's apple, cheese, and pretzels. They were $2.08. I thought this would be just a really easy on the go snack for both Troy and I. So I did pick up two of those. I got some sliced cheese for Troy's cheese and crackers. And then I like to use, and I like to have cheese and crackers as well. And this is already sliced, ready to go. And basically it's a half of a slice of cheese. So if you're trying to save points, calories, fat, you can go with half of a slice instead of a slice. And it's just really convenient. I usually break these in half and it's two crackers and cheese. So I picked those up and then I saw these over in the reduced bakery section. These are little sugar cookies with a little blob of frosting. They call them thumbprint cookies. So I picked those up for a sweet treat. It is my boot camp Valentine's party tonight and I am making a taco pie and I'm also making those Valentine's Day cupcakes that I picked up a few weeks ago in a grocery haul. So for the taco pie, I picked up some chunky guacamole and then also some sliced olives to top the pie with. I needed quite a bit of canned goods this week. I'm going to be making chili. You'll hear what I'm doing for dinners and meal prep right after the grocery haul. So I did grab some petite diced tomatoes two cans of organic black beans, two cans of corn, a small can of tomato sauce, and a small can of kidney beans. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then we were almost out of light mayo and this was actually on coupon. I just can't believe how expensive mayonnaise is. This is $5.70. That's insane. And there was a $1.50 coupon, which I guess makes it a little less insane. So I went ahead and picked that up. Two big packages of light shredded Fiesta blend cheese. I actually need light shredded cheese for two separate recipes. And then I got some seasoning packets. So I picked up a fajita seasoning packet for my lunch meal prep. And then and I didn't know Kinders made these really fun little seasoning packets. So I decided to grab the chili one instead of just making my own chili seasoning with cumin and chili powder. I just grabbed this. I'm going to try this out, see if I like it. And then I am going to be throwing a pot roast in the crock pot this week. So I grabbed this Sunday pot roast seasoning as well. There were, I don't know, four or five different Kinder seasonings. I'm excited to test all of them out. And then I did pick up some one third less fat cream cheese for a recipe. This was kind of exciting. I saw these actually over where the Valentine's Bakery stuff was. This is from Betty Crocker and it's the lower sugar frosting. So it's 120 calories. I think regular frosting is 150, 160. So not that much calorie difference, but 50% less sugar. And then they also had the lower sugar cake mix with 25% less sugar. Oh, maybe this is 25%. Oh yeah, 25% less sugar in the frosting, 25% less sugar in the cake mix. So I thought we could try it out. Maybe you know what I eat in a day, maybe we'll make cupcakes or we can even do a yellow cake with chocolate frosting. I just thought that we could try it out, see how it is versus the zero sugar and the regular cake mix. Of course, two bags. I went ahead and grabbed two just so that I didn't have to go back to Walmart. I could shop at a few different stores for the next few weeks of the real good lightly breaded chicken nuggets. These are my all time favorite, Walmart is the only place I can find them. I keep checking Costco, Sam's Club, they don't have them in my area. So I decided to go ahead and grab two. Did get some light sour cream for the taco pie recipe and then we just like to have sour cream in the fridge. I did pick up another one of the Daisy low fat cottage cheese. Unfortunately, my Walmart does not carry good culture. So Daisy has nice clean ingredients as well. I just like good culture a little bit better but this will definitely do a great way to get in protein. I was 
also out of Parmesan cheese, so I did a restock of that. I grabbed the Mission Car Balance Tortillas for that taco pie recipe. Also, tortillas are insanely expensive. These were almost $5. I remember when tortillas were two, $2.50, so everything is just so expensive right now. And then I did grab this family size Caesar salad kit. I like to use my nuggets on the Caesar salad kit. So I picked that up and I haven't been able to make it to Costco or Sam's because of traveling. So I grabbed a few yogurts for the week and this time I went with light and fit. I don't know why, it just sounded really good. The flavor sounded really good. So I have one creme brulee, one of the banana cream, apple pie and strawberry cheesecake. I like to use yogurt for my yogurt bowls and that way I can add my favorite fruit to it. I put some Catalina Crunch, some Chia Smash, such a great dessert or snack. So I picked up four more yogurts to make it through the week. Avocados are 50 cents a piece at Walmart and I looked over at the baked avocados and that was actually a better deal and these avocados are a lot larger. So I'm completely out, so I picked up four. And then the rest is some produce. So I have some mini cucumbers. If you know, you know. We love mini cucumbers. And then I got bananas. I actually need that for a recipe. And I thought that that would be really good on that banana cream yogurt for a yogurt bowl. A green bell pepper for a recipe. And then I did do a three pack as well. I needed quite a few peppers this week. A couple of tomatoes for garnish on the taco pie, as well as green onion and cilantro. I also need cilantro for two other recipes this week. And then I picked up three yellow onions. I need onion for the taco pie, onion for a dinner recipe, and onion for meal prep. I also grabbed a 24 pack of Diet Coke as well as a eight pack of zero sugar Gatorade for Troy. So that is everything for the week. A decent sized haul, got all of my staples, found a few new things. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. I accidentally reversed Friday and Saturday, so please disregard. It is Saturday, it is my Galentine's party. Tomorrow, Sunday, we're gonna do a salad night with the chicken Caesar salad kit and the real good chicken nuggets. I'm going to throw a pot roast in, we'll do leftovers. I'm going to make that chili, but it's going to be quinoa chili. So stay tuned, you'll see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, and then Thursday and Friday is leftovers. So here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm really excited to get back to meal prepping. So I'm going to be doing a blueberry banana bread. For lunch, I'm doing chicken fajita casserole. This actually sounds so good. And then for a sweet treat, I'm making protein brownies. I've been craving brownies, like gooey chocolate chip brownies. So I'm so excited for that. So again, stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's Walmart haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week, getting back to nice, healthy food post-vacation. Like I said, I'm excited to have meal prep back in my life. It's gonna be a successful week. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Again, check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!